My name is Caspian Armani and I'm just going to walk you through the second course in the Mother's Day menu. This is the dietary alternative for the main course. So we'll just take everything out of the box here, get it all out in front of us. Lovely, lovely stuff. Right, so you want to get your bread in the oven at this point, get your oven on 180 degrees and get your bread in for 12 minutes. Right, following on from that, You've got your carrots here, and you want to get those into the oven for probably about eight minutes or so. Lovely. And these will just go straight onto the tray. You don't need to put any oil on there or anything of that nature. These will just go on the tray and into the oven for about six to eight minutes. Lovely. Right, those are going to warm up. We'll put all of this stuff off to one side. You want to start getting a pan of water on the heat, just warming up to uh, rewarm your sauce and your carrot puree as well. Right, we're now going to cook these beetroots. So these, these beetroots have been uh, salt baked, so literally baked on a tray of salt, not in a salt crust. Um, and that's just really, really gently broken down the outside of the beetroot, cooked whole with the skin on. The skin becomes leathery and you just peel it away. And what you're left with is these really wonderful, almost, uh, almost meat-like uh, beetroots. These are absolutely, absolutely lovely. Right, so we've got a little pan over here. We're just going to turn that onto a medium heat. And we'll just get a little bit of oil in there. Lovely. When that heats up, we'll go in with these beetroots. And you won't need to season them just yet. You can give them a taste once they come out of the pan. If you want to add more salt, you can. But these have been cooked on a bed of salt. So the salt has permeated all the way through the flesh to give this lovely, seasoned, meaty piece of beetroot. Lovely, that pan's just coming up now. A little bit warmer. And we'll go in with these beetroots. Just gonna lay them down in the pan, away from us. Just like that. Lovely, and we're just looking to get just a little bit of color on these beetroots. And these are gonna be almost like steaks on the plate. These are gonna go really nice and dark and caramelized and all that lovely sugar from the beetroot just going to bring this lovely roasted umami flavor and we'll just take those out onto the board just put these over here onto one side nice and lightly colored your pan of water just get that back onto the heat we'll bring that up now to a uh, to a light simmer or just below a simmer and we'll get our carrot puree uh, and our, uh, our jus put those onto the heat. We're now ready to start plating so we'll just take the jus out of a little pan of water and the same with the carrot puree as well. Turn that off now. Lovely. Right well now we'll start plating. So first on just put the little beetroot steaks just like that. Lovely. We'll get our carrot puree just cut the end off that bag. Holding it upside down, carrot puree is going to run down to the bottom. If you leave it that way up and snip it, it's all going to pour out. I'm grabbing it from underneath and squeezing. And then I'm going to flip it over when I'm ready to put it onto the plate and squeezing gently to pour the puree out. Right, carrots next. Two little pieces of carrot there. Now we'll go in with our sorrel yogurt. Same again, snipping the top, letting the yogurt run down to the bottom. This is a flavor combination we've played around with quite a lot here at Isaac Cat, carrot and sorrel. Um, we love it, especially this time of year. Just brings out the uh, acidity from the, uh, the, the sorrel blending with the sweetness from the carrot. Quite lovely, both sweet or savory in fact. Right now we're just going to go on top of the carrot with a few little pieces of fresh lemon sorrel and fresh nasturtium. And you really want to go for vibrancy here. Think, think life, think creative. And then we'll get these crispy shallots just over the top of this beetroot and then to finish just a little bit of that jus. Right now we just want to spoon this sauce 
over and around the plate. This is the main course. This is beetroot with carrot and sorrel.